This summer I had an awesome opportunity to do an internship in my field of study and it was an awesome experience. I learned so much, but I also came away uh, being criticized uh, just for some things that I really need to work on. And as I came into this semester, I still had a lot of those insecurities just kind of haunting me. This past year I really struggled in a variety of different ways, but specifically in the area of my own internal turmoils and, and desert experiences. One of the things I really struggle with is there are so many people who have such such a tremendous physical concerns and, and struggles in their lives. You know, I'm not starving. I, I have a roof over my, over my head. I've been provided for, you know, shouldn't I just get over my own issues and, and complaints because, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I started out this semester pretty rough and the little things in life um, that aren't very big in and of themselves had piled up and I just let in them stress me out and I fell into this um, pit of depression and I didn't know how I was ever going to get out of it or how God was going to use it for good and I started neglecting him and I would sit in my room surrounded by people but alone and um, knowing I was loved by people but not feeling loved and um, it got to a point that I even considered taking my own life because life just wasn't worth it anymore. But I think so often we forget that emotional and spiritual starvation, disease, malfunction within our own souls is, is absolutely as devastating, if not more so, because we have a tendency to push them down. In this past year, it seemed like everything I had put my faith and security in had been torn away from me, whether it be finances or, or family or, or you know relationships. All of those were taken away. And one of the things that God just brought home to my heart is the fact that He is outside of those circumstances. He is so transcendent and sovereign beyond my own little world. Um, and yet He wants to, to bring beauty out of that. He's working and cultivating a work of redemption in my life. And, and those are the things that warrant gratefulness and thanksgiving because He is such a good God. But God is so faithful and He placed some wonderful friends in my life and used different songs, um, chapel on the radio, different scriptures that friends were encouraging me with, and just really using all of those to help pull me back to Him. And one friend in particular told me over and over again, if God woke you up this morning, He still has purpose for your life. And every morning I would wake up and just think about that. Wow, God woke me up this morning. He still wants to use me. He still has purpose. And even though I wasn't seeking Him, there was still comfort in knowing that. And it took about six weeks of really um, coming back and seeking God before I was really finally able to feel true joy again. And through this, I learned that true joy is nothing that can be manufactured. Even if people are looking at your life and thinking that everything is alright, when our relationship with God is broken, there really isn't joy. As I came back from an internship this summer, just struggling with doubts and insecurities about this career that I was pursuing and if I would ever get there, I was just welcomed back into this community this semester here at Cedarville that just took me in and told me that I needed to pull what I could learn from the criticism and grow from it and then just move forward and they encouraged me in that. I was so blessed by professors like Professor Leitenheimer who just, again, encouraged me in my career field that I'm pursuing and just moved me toward that goal. Um, I was so also encouraged by my friends who just came alongside me and just built me up. And to have friends and a community such as Cedarville is just something that I'm tremendously thankful for. I'm very thankful for the friends and the situations that God has used this semester to bring me back to Himself. So if there's anything that I could encourage my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ is just how God has shown me the gifts and the goodness that He bestows on us and even through the desert times and the times of wilderness, even then we can experience a gratefulness because of who He is and what He's done for us in the past and what He continues to do for us in the fact that He is working out a marvelous story in our lives.